Hello friends, this video on application of derivative part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 24. Let's take one more example. Here we have to say that the, we have to find the point interval. At what points in this interval does this function sin 2x attains its maximum value? So if you see in this question, the interval is well defined. So it is an absolute global maxima question. So if I told, I told earlier the critical points are, are turning points, right? Non-differentiable and endpoints, correct? So the turning point is nothing but where my f dash x is zero. That is nothing but f dash x nothing but cos 2x into 2 pi because my fx is sin 2x so my f dash x will be cos 2x into 2 and this is equal to 0 if this is equal to 0 my 2x will be nothing but I can say pi by 2 also 3 pi by 2 also 5 pi by 2 also and 7 pi by 2 also. I am taking in this range because I want x to be of the form 0 to 2 pi or I can say x is nothing but pi by 4, 3 pi by 4, 5 pi by 4 and 7 pi by 4. I can't take more because these are the only values in 0 to 2 pi where my sin 2x or cos 2x is 0. They are the only turning points. Correct. There are other turning points also. But since my domain is fixed now in this fixed domain, these are the only turning points. Now, this is done. non differential point, not in picture because sin 2x is a differential function. End points, yes, we have to take 0 and 2 pi also. So, in this we will take critical points I will write here, critical points, I will add 0 and pi also, so I will add 0 and then pi by 4, 3 by 4 pi, 5 by 4 pi, 7 pi by 4 and pi, 2 pi. So I just added in the last because I wanted to maintain the consistency, you can add anywhere. So the, these are the, my critical points, these two are end points. And these two are these are our turning points. Now I have to find the value at all these points. Let's find f of zero is nothing but sine of see f of x also. Let me write here to make uh, to just show you clearly f of x is sine two. So f of zero is sine of two into zero. That is sine zero and that is zero. Let's take f of next value is pi by 4. This is nothing but sine of 2 into pi by 4. That is sine pi by 2 and that is nothing but 1. This guy is also done. Next is f of 3 by 4 pi. 3 by 4 pi and that is nothing but sine of 2 of 3 by 4 pi. And there is nothing but 3 by 2 pi that is minus 1. Similarly, let's take 5 by 4 pi. f of 5 by 4 pi is nothing but sine of 2 into 5 by 4 pi. And that is nothing but sine of 5 by 2 pi that is 1. If you're having difficulty in this understanding why sine of 5 by 2 pi is 1 and all, Please watch my trigonometry videos where we explained everything clearly. The next is this guy 7 by 4 pi. So f of 7 by 4 pi that is sine of 2 into 7 by 4 pi that is sine 7 by 2 pi that is again minus 1 and then 2 pi f of 2 pi is nothing but sine of 2 of 2 pi that is sine 4 pi that is zero. So if you see the maximum value is 1 and the minimum value is minus 1. This is my max. 
in this memory. Correct. So we have to find the point at which it attains the maximum value actually. So the maximum values are this guy and this guy. Correct. I'll put a star here. So the points at which this guy attains the maximum value is x this guy and this guy. That is x is equal to pi by 4 and pi by 4 pi because this is f of x. So that is what I was asked. And the maximum value is max value is equal to 1. So the question asked me find the points at which this guy attains the maximum value. The points are pi by 4 and 5 by 4. Let's take one more example. We have to find the maximum value of this function in this interval. And we have to again find the maximum value for this function, the same function in the other interval. So here also if you see, same thing, same logic. The critical points can be either my turning points, my non-differentiable points, and my endpoints. Since it is a function, it's a, a continuous function, there is no non differential point. So we'll talk about turning points and endpoints only. For turning points, I have to find f dash x and that has to be equal to 0. Or f dash x is nothing but 2x cube becomes 2 into 3x square. 24x becomes 24 and 1 not so on becomes 0. So this is my equal to 0 because this is f dash x. Or I solve it further. This is nothing but 6x square minus 24. I will take 6 into common x square minus 4 is equal to 0. If you solve this, x is nothing but plus minus 2. So there are two points I get from turning points. End points. End points. If I assume this guy is 1 and 3. So my critical points I write here. Critical points will be 1, 3, 2 and minus 2. Correct? These are my critical points. But are these my critical points? No. We have to be little cautious here. Why? Because I am saying my interval is 1 and 3. Minus 2 is not part of my interval 1 and 3. Correct? So minus 2 is not my critical. Please note, uh, trick here is x was 2 and minus 2, but minus 2 is not part of the interval. So I will not consider minus 2 at all. Because I am bothered only about these intervals. So even if you get a turning point which is not in that interval, I will not take that. Please note here, this is a little critical part here. x was minus 2 and plus 2. We took 2 because 2 comes here and minus 2 comes somewhere here. Minus 2 is not in this range. So I will not take minus 2. Correct. So this is my critical point set 1, 3 and 2. So I will find the value of 1, f of 1. f of 1 will be nothing but if you find actually 2 into 1 q because 2 into 1 q minus 24 into x that is 1 plus 1 not 7. We saw that this becomes 24 minus 1 minus 23 plus 1 not 7. This is minus 23 sorry 2. 2 minus 24 is minus 22 plus 1 not 7 that is 85. Similarly if you find f of 2 that will be 2 into 2 q minus 24 into 2 plus 1 not 7. If you solve this, you get 75. And if you wind f of 3, that is 2 into 3q minus 24 into 2 plus 1 not 7, what you get is 89. So if you compare all these, this is my maximum value. And that is my answer for the first part. In the second part, I'll just draw a line here. Second part, my interval is changing. So, my critical point will be, I will take the endpoints for sure. 
Now I have 2 and minus 2 out of 2 and minus 2. You see, minus 2 is in this range. 2 is not. So here I'll take minus 2 and I'll ignore 2. Please note why? Because 2 is not a member of minus 3 and minus 1. So I'll ignore 2 here. In this case, minus 2 is not member of 1, 2, 3. So I ignored minus 2. Here I ignored 2. Correct? So here on the same thing, I have this critical points. You can find the value of f of th minus 3. That will come out to be 125. You find the value of f of minus 2. You just solve on your own. You will get 129. You find the value of f of minus 1. That will come out to be 139. And then you will see this is the maximum. So for the same function, if you see, when my domain changes, the maximum value also changes. Correct? And that is quite true also if my this is my function right so in this particular domain if you see this is the maximum value but in this particular domain my maximum value is different let's take one more example it is a little other way around problem here we have been told that at x is equal to 1 the function attains the maximum value we have to find the value of a so again i told maximum value can be obtained at end points turning point and non-differentiable points. In this case, it's continuous function, non-differentiable is not in picture. x is equal to 1 is not the end point. So we'll ignore this. That means x is equal to 1 is a turning point. Turning point means f dash x is equal to 0. f dash x is what? x4 becomes 4x cube. 62 into x square becomes 2x ax becomes a, 9 becomes 0 and that is equal to 0, a turning point. So what I get? 4x cube minus 124x plus a is equal to 0. If you solve this, this is f dash x and I am told that, sorry f dash x is this much. I am told that f dash 1 is equal to 0. Why? Because at x is equal to 1, my function is turning. It is maximum value. So this is 4 into 1 square minus 12, 124 into 1 plus a is equal to 0 or I get a as 120 and that is my answer. Correct. What I have done? I, I found the value of f dash x and then I knew that f dash of 1 is equal to 0. I found the value of f dash 1 this guy and this is equal to 0 and I found A is equal to 120. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.